Hello, and welcome back to Blind Dark Souls 3. Last time, we finished our time in the swamp. F uh, what? Why can I summon a purple spirit? I'm not embered. Huh. Okay. And uh, we're going to continue down this path because I don't feel like dealing with dark rates. Though down the other path is... Uh, God, what, what was I even fucking saying in any shape or form? Um... We finished with our time in the swamp, though we are now back in the swamp in order to pick up a spell or two. Oh good, we're also over in uh, these guys town, you know what, fuck this. Zero fucks given, absolutely zero. I will burn a bone not to have to deal with basilisks. God. Remember when they were huge and like barely a threat? Good times. I like basilisks. Bas bas basilisks. In two. Oh, what? Warping back respawns enemies? Oh, that's dumb. Hello. Hopefully for this precarious area that they put you in. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I hope they don't give you any of the rolling attacks. Oh, shit. Where are you left? Oh. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, Alright, that's a closed loop. I was wondering how you got to that crystal lizard anyway. Crystal demon? Demon crystal lizard. There, there's a combination of words that kind of work. Alright, I guess we sleep. Refresh. And fight the dark wraiths, which I really don't want to do. One one shot me that one time. That was not fun. But cannot avoid our problems forever. Wait, what happened to him? Good, good, good. I can aggro one over. Damn you, Dark Raids, and your stupid armor that gives you so much poise. Hey, now I know that's the thing I can do.
Well, that one wasn't even doing anything. You're just a mean boy. I should have been owned. Let's explore the outside before going in the building. God, these things, the way they twist and turn, so awkward. Like, where you actually backstab them. That's a dark resist. Oh, these things always inflicted poison, and I've just been poisoned, I guess, is what happened. I regret nothing. Alright. Alright, let's mop up whatever these guys dropped. Cool. I wonder how a heavy infusement would work on a dagger. Would it make it like decent for a strength build? Praise night. Time for planned encounter. Oh, right, this is the path back around. That was referencing what was up here. And that goes back to the bonfire, so, door. Let's just be careful, right? Good name. That looks like an NPC. Look at all these sun boys. I'm just kind of curious if there's any named characters around here. It's always interesting to see who summons for which obvious boss I'm about to fight. Alright, shake it out. That's plural. The best watchers. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be a lot of guys. One big shared health, health bar. Health bar. Holy shit. What? What the fuck? There are evil knights. They help me. Oh. 
That's not the whole fight. Yo, I have the biggest, dumbest grin on my face right now! This boss owns! Holy shit! Okay. Enough. in the second phase. Alright. Throw him back again. It just, they're so mobile in the second phase. It's actually kind of rough to get around. Backstab the second four metal. Alright, let's skip this this time. Alright, the collective Abyss Watchers.
sort of a, I respect you now, you get both hands on the sword. Congratulations, you have caused me to go full berserk. eggs before they hatch. Last, last. Oh. Down to the wire. What a good boss. Oh, let's ignite this first. Getting all my flasks back. And then, uh... Let's just take a peek down here. Oh, this is very much a new zone. Skeletons. People trying to see if they can uh, speed run. Alright, let's see. And the soul counter has not gone up. Yep, you know what that means. What the hell? What was that move? Alright, so he did give me souls. Alright. That's a good bit of insight into the next zone, though. Maybe I should go back to the Cathedral of the Deep for a bit, though. But, uh... For now. Let's head back to... Firelink. God, what a cool boss! Shit! I was so sure the Watchers were going to be a mob fight. Just, here are the Watchers of the Abyss. And they're like, well, you're half right. Fuck. Oh, shit. And when that happened, maybe when I beat the watchers. Yeah, there it is. The Legion armor. I would buy some of these, like the exiled armor and stuff, but uh, there's no compare. It's the one thing I wish they would introduce into a Souls game. Okay, so Legion armor is better than mine. Nothing 
No, no, it's not. The the exiled armor is, but it's way heavier, like significantly heavier. Ashen one. I like it though. I like me a good cape. Oh hey, look who's back. Oh hello. You've come at a good time. It took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on, have a gander. Alright, so you're selling more embers now. My blessing. Way more weapons. Holy crap. Some of the starter sets, like the night stuff, okay. Cool. Wait, that's night armor. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, I'm confusing myself. No rings. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Oh, this place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> I actually don't think I have business with anybody else. Who are you? Oh, right. Ah, I know you. Been some time. I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Now, what are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. Couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> this place couldn't hope for better. <laughs> you, sir, are an asshole. No, I think you are supposed to be the uh, paladin with a mace in this game. So, great. I generally like you guys. Oh, Champion of Ash. Welcome back. Do you wish to hear a tale? I did want to pick this one off eventually. You know, in my home of God, with a video of awesome. have a All right. journey, champion. Yes, thank you for your time. Uh, were there any sorceries I wanted to get? Back again, my son. I think I'm kind of solid on most things, especially since I just got great. No, let's get cast light. Always a good one to get. Come again. Actually, how much does a uh, greater magic cost? Fuck, there it is. Fifteen, perfect. All right, that's a good point to get to. Ah, there I am. <laughs> Kind of solid on most things you have. Do not be gone. What is it? <laughs> I feel like the laughing is when you're supposed to walk away. Just ha ha ha. And you're like, yeah, you're right. As you waltz away, both giving a good, good chuckle. Aha, that returned. And a fight so. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Uh, I meant to look at. The soul we just got. Hmm. So that was the blood of the wolf. The wolf of Farron. Aha, that was Alright, so what does this get me? Uh, you know, let's go thing by thing. The fair and great sword. It's an ultra great sword, and it comes with a knife. Or you can get this. Why are some cheap? I hate that the one the ones I want aren't cheap.
the Wolf Knight was the first Abyss Watcher. Yep, you know, I have to collect some great swords. No regret. That's probably why I would use those things eventually anyway. No, no. And hey. Let's level up. Welcome and what do you say we do a weapons demonstration? Very well, then take no Like I had been promising. Start getting that int up. get the second slot of attunement. Eh, not for a bit. But yeah, let's work on int a bit. Okay, let's look at some weapons. So... Just pick that up. And... See if this has any different moves on it. I don't think I've actually used the dagger yet in anything. It's not a bad move set, honestly. Yeah, you know, let's on the alt put the grass crest. We just regen a little faster. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so these are... I think I might have actually shown this off. Yeah, okay, I showed these off already. Let's throw something else in that slot. Actually, let's not. Let's just move on to the next one. Alright. So this looks like... Lucatil Sword. From 2. As a thrusting set, which kind of makes sense, you know, as it's much, much sharper. And this has sword arts as well. Seems to be a modification of the one-handed move set. So this is a great sword. Oh, I'm way overburdened. Not a bad set. Oh, okay. That was the sword art. And by hitting power move, or art 2, it actually made it go a bit longer. All right, the wolf sword. I'm not much for the thrusting swords, but I may keep this around. Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, right. So. One sword is real heavy, isn't it? See if that could combo. Some cool moves there.
All right, big boy sword. Okay, and your slab of metal. I like when you charge up. Oh, that's a stomp move set. Okay. Yeah, I like my stamina is just gone forever. Now let's immediately remove that. All right, so this is the uh, the cell swords or the mercenaries' starting weapon. So these sort of weapons uh, work like what are they called? Uh, Bloodborne weapons. In that, like now my L and R's are their own move set. The L not using anything, but then the R. is that but I can combo moves out of it it's pretty cool I like that kind of stuff and then this one I think it's a curved greatsword actually yeah How did the How did the uh the enemy keep going with this? Oh, it's you keep mashing R2. Alright. I can explain the rest. Uh some more, so I don't have to keep going into it. We already showed off the Uchikatana, the rapier. Axes, you you buff yourself. Butcher's knife, you sharpen the blade. Yeah, so war cry is just the buff. Move the strength, lose the strength of sorceries, war cry, war cry. We tried that one out. Then we tried out spears. Ooh, great sight, sounds good. Lucerne will probably be good. And let's throw out whips. And then we'll do uh, Cestus and the longbow. Not bad. If there's a better one that isn't so uh, generic, I could actually see using this in maybe PvP. And maybe certain bosses. Oh, let's get our, get our junk back. What does that do in particular? Oops. Functions as a headshot and inflicts heavy damage. Nice. Alright, so the Lucerne is your Halberd moveset. And then... Alright. Pretty standard. Whips, I really want to hope, are good. And then I, I have actually checked this out on an alt. Watch this. What a good move. And then one last one I saw. All right, the Cestus and then the bow. Okay, so Cestus. You know, it's your punching move set. Uh, but if you do dual wield it, you actually just pull out another Cestus. And it becomes a 
a dual weapon set, so your L1 is just, you know, kind of go crazy. And then if you do this, you have increased poise and defense. It's so good. Well, only for a bit. But you do this and then... Alright, and then the bow. Uh, bows are pretty standard still. But the cool thing is this. And then if you pull it back... Like that. That apparently pierces shields, which is pretty, pretty all right. And then, uh, you know what? Let's actually finish off with one final cool thing. I wonder if something happens now that I have the... I guess I returned the cinder the the lords to their throne. It's a bit much. Okay. That's it for this Blind Dark Souls 3. A little long, but I think worth it. I'll see you next time.